Hello everyone and welcome to Chasing Adventures. My name is Brian and today I received Vevor diesel heater. So let's go ahead and unbox it and see what this is all about. And before we start, I do want to apologize for the noise that you're hearing. It's my neighbor using a pressure washer to wash his driveway out of all the days. So as the weather is changing, I've been looking at a safe heating source when camping. And when Vevor asked me to review their all-in-one eight kilowatt diesel heater, with the upgraded controller, the timing couldn't be more perfect. Now, I said safe, and that's because most of the heaters out there that uses propane or some type of liquid gas fuel, uh, they create carbon monoxide when burning. And you have the risk of carbon monoxide poisoning if it's not ventilated correctly. Also, another issue with propane heater is that propane produces four cubic feet of water vapor for every cubic foot of gas it burns. And that's why you end up with condensation buildup inside your tent. But with the diesel heater, all of the combustion and the exhaust is done outside of the tent and only dry heated air comes into your tent. Kind of like how your house heating system works. So I think it's a safer option in my opinion. And to power the diesel heater, I have EBL 1000 watt power station and the diesel fuel with me to test out the heater. But first, let's unbox it and see what's all included. And I'll show you how the heater works. So first we have the instruction manual in color, which is nice. An exhaust pipe with the exhaust silencer, intake pipe with the intake, and heated air outlet pipe, and some vents, and a mounting hardware, and a remote control, and the heater itself, which includes a five liter or 1.3 gallon fuel tank. Now let's go over some of the specs. Heater's power is rated at eight kilowatt and the dry weight is about 20 pounds. And overall dimensions are 16 by 10 by 12 inches. And the outlet pipe diameter is three inches. The control has a remote control and Bluetooth connections, and it also features automatic altitude compensation, making it suitable for altitudes up to 18,000 feet automatically. And it is equipped with the low noise fuel pump, and you could have continuous heat for up to eight hours with just one gallon of diesel fuel, making it super efficient. All right, so now that's out of the way, let's assemble the heater and try it out. Oh, and they have two different options for all-in-one diesel heater, but I asked for the square casing and that's because it's easier to travel with and less chance of fuel leaking compared to the vertical casing because I actually have their older diesel heater with the tall vertical casing and I found some issues while traveling with it. You see, the gas tank is located on top of the case and when you fill it with gas, it's somewhat top heavy and it has a ventilation hole designed to let pressure out. But when you're off-roading, things are moving around and it also lets out actual diesel fuel from the ventilation hole. And if the heater is inside your car, you'll start to smell the diesel fuel. And if it spills onto your carpet or to your seats, it'll stink up the car for weeks. So ideally, I wanted to put the diesel heater in the roof box, but with the vertical casing, it's too tall for a roof box and you can't lay it flat. But with the square casing, it's just tall enough to fit into the roof box. And if it does leak, I won't smell it in the car and I could just wash the roof box. So that's why I got the square casing and most likely I'm going to take the heater with me every time I go camping now and use the vertical casing one in the garage because other than the issue that I had while I was traveling, it works great and produces a lot of heat. And if my information is being helpful so far, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel and let's assemble the heater and try it out. And few things you're gonna need are 16 gauge cigarette lighter plug, spade connectors, screwdriver, and a wire crimping tool.
start eating. All right, so the diesel heater is working as expected and it's producing a lot of heat. And when I was using the older diesel heater, I did find that it heats up the tent really fast and without any condensation buildup in the morning. So I'm definitely going to be using this more often. Also, if you're new to the channel, uh, don't forget to subscribe because next I'm going camping with the bubble tent and I'll be using a diesel heater with it and actually test it out in the real world. So it'll be a lot of fun and I don't want you guys to miss it. Anyways, thank you all for staying till the end. And until next time, keep chasing adventures and bye for now.